martial arts instruction is very different from classroom instruction. You know, in classroom instruction, you guys all start together and you all learn exactly the same way. But yes. one of the great things about a martial arts school is it's always rolling. You know, you can mm -hmm. come in in March, you come in in August, and you're going to get the same level of attention and the experience and the experience will be tailored to where you're at when where you're going and uh, your abilities and what works well for you. So, you know, I think there's a, a unique um, benefit to the martial arts instruction just in the way that the instruction is kind of rolled out. You know, um, we can take, you know, and in, 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 when you go to school, you, you have a teacher for maybe one semester and then you never see them exactly, again. Yes. But in the martial mm -hmm. arts, you're going to have that same teacher for maybe 10 years. Who knows how long? Exactly. They can have your whole life. And that mm -hmm. instructor is going to really know how you learn and is going to be able to feed you the curriculum in a way that's going to help you learn it the best. And you exactly. can develop that long-term relationship where you can't really get that in a, in a classroom environment where it's just no. basically packaged and you just push it out and everyone's just supposed to absorb it in the exact same way. Exactly. I, I would say I, I, I really pity and teachers like that because I know the schools, districts tell them that they have to teach a certain way. Mm -hmm. And it's, I know it's, it's got to be difficult teaching 20 kids with no help. And, like, and again, you're trying to, trying to get them to focus on that one thing and then you have Johnny in the background who's playing with his pencil and, and joking. And then you really can't, I don't want to say you really can't discipline them. Where I, I say in martial arts, if, if, if they do act up, I drop down, give me three push-ups. And they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, give me three push-ups. Yeah. And then yeah, there's the sure. discipline part. So yeah. again, but uh, but I, I, like I said, it's, and I, I we actually have three um, Joshus who are working their ways to becoming, actually running a, a class like that, like this. Mm -hmm. And, um, they, they're having the hardest time of trying to figure out like game planning the class and trying to figure out how should I, each student is still learning. Mm -hmm. And I told him, I was like, I, I've been teaching for, and I, I, I kind of feel like I'm old now. I said, I've been teaching for almost 20 years. And once I said that, I was like, I feel really old. Like I said, but I've been, uh, I've been doing martial arts for 24 years. Um, so it's, it's, like I said, it's a lot of practice. I've been teaching since I was 12. And I'm I'm actually turning uh, 31 in a couple weeks. So like I said, it's it's a lot of practice. Like I said, I'm still learning. Uh, each yeah. student is still teaching me teaching me how to better myself. Mm -hmm. um, and I always try to explain it like when we have a if there's a tough and tough student, learn from that because again, how they might not be learning a certain way. Once you figure out a way for them to learn, now you know. Once that happens again, you know how to sit, f figure out that situation. Um, and then like, but uh, it's just trying to game plan that classroom. It's, it's, it's tough. It's very difficult. Yeah. yeah. I say for a teacher like that, but like you were saying, um, a lot of times, the students, no, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times I think people get into teaching for all the wrong reasons. Like they'll get into yes. teaching because they want to be the big dog on top and everyone's underneath them, but they don't actually really care about helping mentor up the next generation. Um, or they want to basically profess their, their knowledge so that they can look intelligent. Um, but really, and, and you can kind of spot those people because they say things like, I, I, I don't I might get some shade from this. I don't, I don't mean this like everyone who says this is necessarily no, in this category, but you know, they'll say things like, well, I don't really like working with children or uh, I don't like, you know, that kid is so difficult. You know, I, I don't, you know, I don't like working with kids like that. And I have the complete opposite opinion. When I get a really exactly. hard kid that comes in, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> and we're exactly. like, all the staff are like, okay, how are we going to break exactly the this way. egg and like make this, this like really um, raw, uh, you know, student into something great. And you would be exactly. surprised. Like some of our best students have done the most ridiculous things on day one. Like, you had to drag them off the floor, kicking and screaming, or they're like giving me the middle finger in the middle of class, exactly. like swearing at me. And then they're like, perfect sit, black belt, you know what I mean, in the end. Mm -hmm. um, it's just incredible. And that's what makes this profession just so rewarding. That and it the is. fact that you can be with that same student for, you know, their whole life. Yeah, actually, um, one of our um, junior Josh, or he's coming, he's going to become an instructor. He's a senpai right now. He uh, has worked he actually, he started, he was like five or six. 
when he started and uh, he's now, I think 11. And I even said to him, I was like, I, I, where did the time go? Cause I remember when you first started here, you were so little and now you're going to the middle school. And I was, his mom even said the same thing. And it, like you said, it's, it's amazing how, how long like you're with, with somebody and it's, and like they grow and, and it's, 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 it's really rewarding. Um, and actually saying with what you're saying about the one student, we actually had a student like that who would hit us, uh, kick us, spit at us, curse at us. And um, I would have to, I'd be the one, I'd be, again, I'd be the one that, cause if you hit me, it's okay. I mean, I'm trying to, trying to get you to focus. I drag him off the mat, take him to the back, let him calm down. And as soon as he calmed down, I was like, all right, what happened? He goes, I got upset. I'm like, well, why'd you get upset? I don't know. I go, well, you need to stop doing that. And then from, from him cursing and yelling to listening and being a black belt. And that's, it's, it's, like you said, it's rewarding to see somebody that, that tough student who didn't want to listen, didn't, didn't want to be there to wanting to be there and earning that black belt. It's, I still love when, when our brown belts go test their black belt, they earn that black belt. It's still, it, I feel, I feel just as, as proud as them because I just to, to see them go through the years training hard and working. It just, it's, it's so rewarding. 